Alright, I've been off of Twitter since... about a year now. And not once since I left have I regretted it. But a post has been making some rounds in a couple of communities I'm in about how to spot traced AI images, and... I thought I'd give my thoughts as someone with both a history and digital art now, as well as someone with experience in tracing pretty early on. Now, it should be stated at the gate, the person who made this intended it to be an attempt at an informative piece and never intended for anyone to be sent hate, just trying to prevent people who focus more on AI art to not overshadow artists such as myself. And I want to be fair because I respect it. I respect people who try to help out others in the best way without trying to throw others under the bus. Now I'm not going to read off any comments or replies responding to it because it's I mean, it's Twitter. The shit speaks for itself. But I do think there are some things in this thread that are pretty defendable for any artist in this field, mixed in with some things that I do think are genuinely questionable regarding your skill as an artist. For example, right? In the thread, they make a post about profit and manipulation and how people who trace AI art and whatnot tend to play the victim. Posting an in-progress works, but not more evidence that backs up their progress, such as screenshots or the recorded process prior, and behaves in a way I can tell you a good majority of artists will honestly not be like. Because regardless of if people want to call one of my older or even current artworks AI generated, and yes I have gotten that fucking comment, not just me, but many of my peers will have receipts ranging from references to time lapses and speed pants. So yes, I do think that there's valuable info here to take notice of in regards to this matter, but that doesn't mean all of it, on my end personally, is just to be taken at face value. Such as quality inconsistencies, and details such as thin and or invisible line art, wiggly lines, hands not matching the color quality alongside inconsistent line work. Which is funny reading this because... I think all of this I'm technically guilty of in my work. <laughs> but that aside, a lot of the stuff can be defended one way or another as an artist. Such as, well for one, it being a stylistic choice. Especially regarding line art, colors, and the lack of a straight edge. Inconsistent line work or hands being a problem isn't that uncommon, especially if you're starting out. Hell, those are even problems I even have now. It's important to note that every artist has their strengths and weaknesses. It doesn't matter who you are. Hell, focusing on your weaknesses is a big part of what can help you grow as an artist. Suck at drawing hands, or poses, or even body types? Well, keep practicing on doing that until you can get it to how you want. There's also another post that talks about muddy coloring, and how real artists basically use all the tools at their disposal they can for the best outcome, and tracers use a default brush due to lack of experience, which... No? Not always, at least. I can't speak for everybody, but I genuinely will say that using more tools in your art, especially digital art, doesn't equate to being on the same level of other artists that you either are inspired by or so on or so forth. Like for example, you can have all the different grades of graphite and charcoal and blenders, so on and so forth. You can have all these different tools for making a work on paper. Compare that to some sketch art that I can do with just a mechanical pencil. And you're going to have different results, not necessarily more so different in terms of uh, like how vibrant or complex it is, but more so different in terms of how well done it is. But also, here's an out. Some artists will use muddy coloring because, and I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna out myself too, they just don't know how to make a creative color palette that isn't basic colors or just colors that work better in their head. Like, it doesn't matter how many tools or brushes you use, this is something that is hard to nail down without years of experience. Also, take it from someone who started out on Autodesk Sketchbook, and even uses it for stuff like backgrounds, you are going to have to pry the hairbrush away from my cold, dead hands before I switch up on how to do coloring on that fucking software. Side note, if you're an artist and you're looking for new colors to add something more to your artwork, 
Look up some palettes on sites like Adobe Colors. You'll be surprised with what you can find. There's an artist uh, by the name of Philip Suard who actually has made a handful of videos showcasing different color swatches they use if you want to check out his work in colors. And then there's work in progress pictures and that's honestly dependent on the artist sometimes. Sometimes how an artist colors or adds detail can vary from person to person. Now to be fair, I, personally I think sketching and line art coming first is a must before coloring, but sometimes I will admit it is easy to get stuck on those parts, especially if it's not turning out how you want, and moving to other parts of the art and doing that in the meantime is just better. It's called work in progress for a reason, not everybody's gonna have the same process. And also, not gonna lie. Sometimes I will be just in a work and make substantial progress and just completely forget to go step by step or record it. It, it. it happens. So if you're looking at this and you have to make a mental note of having work in progress every single time, just know that you, it, nobody's perfect. Alright? Like sometimes you will just forget shit and you'll just be way into the work, so I understand wholeheartedly. Now, to play devil's advocate on my behalf, I think what this is trying to entail is when the progress shots don't document enough to showcase your progress and how you got from 0 to 100. Which that is fair. And there's a pretty easy fix for this though. Basically just record your work. A number of devices nowadays come with built-in recording software. Some art software, like I know Sketchbook on mobile, has a feature for recording time lapses. And even then, if you're on an actual computer, there's a like, a free-to-use recording software people, including myself, will recommend is OBS Studio. Now, as for AI tracing, 100%, and this is personally me as an artist, I don't recommend. AI art is already imperfect, inaccurate, and using other people's works. Why would you want to imitate that? I will tell you this right now, though. Unless you are profiting off of the works and claiming them as your own without crediting what you used? Personally, I do not think there is anything wrong with tracing, especially if you are starting out. Look, we all start somewhere, and if you find an artist you like and you want to trace their art, but also add your own details and touches while also giving credit to the people responsible, by all means, I respect it. If you want to just use bases and poses to trace while also stating what you used, that is perfectly fine. I, I don't think tracing on its own is a bad thing, especially if it's for artists trying to learn how to start out and get into the groove and everything. It just becomes a problem when you start making money off of it, or worse, hiding the truth. Now. If you want to use AI art as a reference and even redraw what it's decided to generate in your style and correcting the mistakes and inaccuracies, that's another story entirely. But yeah, that's my two cents. I'm sure there are other artists who have been in this longer than me who can give their own insight and everything, and I recommend you go look at their videos and hear their insight. But yeah, take it from an artist like me, there's not necessarily anything wrong with tracing on its own. And mainly, just when it comes to people who trace AI images and everything, the one thing I agree to definitely keep an eye out for in regards to these people is just how they behave in regards to this matter. Also, if you're one of those people who doesn't draw, but just goes out of her way to call every single work and every single piece of art that someone creates now just AI art, What are we doing? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna tell you to go outside or touch grass or anything like that. Just, just like... like we, we, we know better. You're not a loser. You're... Just this, just, 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 I don't know, just go do something else. Fucking 
Steam is having a sale until the 11th of July right now. A lot of games like Nier Automata on there. Honkai Star Rail has a bunch of new content if you want to get started on that. Sky Children of the Light is also free on Steam. Like, that, even Hades 2 right now is available to test out in early access. That's, that's what I'm going to do. But, like, come on. You can be better than that. You can be better than that. I know you can.